Apple. It is rocking second gen Touch ID, Apple A9 CPU, and a body and design that's very similar to the 2014 iPhone 6. So it definitely looks a little bit dated now, but this is only one year old in terms of the flagship phones versus the iPhone 7, which is the current best phone you can buy from Apple right now. But should you buy an iPhone 6S in 2017? Stay tuned for that. That's coming up right now. Let's go. So, what is up, guys? Nick here from Everything Tech Help You to Master Your Technology. Let's get the key specs out of the way. First of all, 4.7 inch, 750 by 1334 retina display, 12 megapixel 4K camera, 2 GBs of RAM combined with an Apple A9 CPU, and a 1715 milliamp hour battery to keep this guy chugging along all day. So, with the combination of the Apple A9 CPU with 2 gigabytes of RAM, the iPhone 6S absolutely flies, and this is one of the reasons why I think many people have not decided to upgrade from their iPhone 6s to an iPhone 7 is due to the fact that the iPhone 7's performance is not that much better than here on the iPhone 6s. So if you're deciding to pick up a 6s in 2017, you can rest assured you are going to have incredible performance across the board in any and everything you do. So taking a closer look at the display for the iPhone 6s, we're talking about a 4.7 inch retina display that gets pretty bright in every day use. It's also decently crisp for reading applications, text, and pretty much anything you're going to read on the display. If you go ahead and enable bold text, it'll make it even easier to read. But this is not a display that is ultra sharp like you're going to see on a Samsung smartphone or you're going to see on an LG smartphone with a 2K panel, but it definitely is good enough for most folks here in 2017. So one of the things that I do appreciate about all iPhones is that they are very well built and the iPhone 6S is definitely no exception here. Definitely improves on the iPhone 6 design, even though it looks the same, the 7000 series aluminum makes it feel like a more durable, more solid device than you had in the iPhone 6. So you guys are going to appreciate the build here, and it's also very easy to reach all four corners of the display. So definitely a win here in the build and design, just a little bit dated here in 2017. So speaking about the battery life on the iPhone 6s, it's definitely not as good as the 6s Plus, which does have a over a thousand milliamp more hour battery but with the low power mode and you know if you know some iPhone tweaking battery tricks let me know if you want to see a video on that and you can get through a day pretty easily here on the Apple iPhone 6s here so definitely not the best battery but it surely will get you through most of your work day so moving on to the camera on the Apple iPhone 6s we're talking about a 12 megapixel f2.2 aperture camera and basically all this means is you have a very strong performer here the sensor in this guy is very good you also have live photos as well as a bunch of features HDR you have your typical video mode slow-mo up to 240 FPS time-lapse and all the iPhone goodies that you can come to be used to now this also shoots in 4k at up to 30 FPS and it does take quite a bit of space so you do want to have at least a 64 gig recommended storage capacity if you're gonna be doing this here but overall I think this camera will please you going over to the front we're looking at a 5 megapixel also an f2.2 lens at 31 millimeter size and 1080p shooting video on the front. Hello there. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and take a couple of pictures with this camera, take a couple of videos, and I'm going to show you those samples. But that front camera also gives you the ability to have right in the flash, which makes for brighter selfies. But take a look at these samples yourself. So here is a look at the 1080p video recording on the iPhone 6s and you can see very good detail here in the LG lens. Taking a walk here you can see the grass does hold the exposure pretty well. Very nicely balanced colors for a smartphone camera. I think you're going to be just fine here in 2017. And this camera should last at least a couple more years before it's a little bit you know, outdated. But it's going to be a very long time before this camera is outdated. Now when talking about software updates, you know this guy is going to be supported well into the future 
feature, it always gets updates, and it's, you know, it's got a 64-bit CPU, so the iPhone 6S should be supported well into the future, I would say at least till about 2019, 2020 here, so definitely a phone that's going to go well into the future still. Now, we do have to mention when talking about a 6S model, the 3D Touch. This is a first for iPhone, it was introduced here on the iPhone 6S, and this is a feature that many say, well, I don't really need that feature. But until you start using it, then you really don't want to go back to an iPhone that does not have 3D Touch. And the reason being is that it actually makes it like a shortcut on your iPhone, making for a little bit of a more speedy experience when you want to go to something that you would typically go to, but you would have to dig around in settings. So 3D Touch does save us just a little bit of time when using our iPhone 6S here or 6S Plus. So the iPhone 6S was the first iPhone to introduce second generation Touch ID, which is the second iteration of the Touch ID system, which is a lot quicker than the first generation Touch ID. It's about a second quicker, so this just goes to show that the performance of your fingerprint speed is going to be a lot quicker if you decide to buy this phone, and the same as the iPhone 7 in terms of speed. Now talking about pocketability and portability of the iPhone 6S, you are in for a delight if you decide to buy one in 2017. You see the 6S Plus next to it, which absolutely dwarfs this phone, and this is an easily pocketable phone, very portable. It's not 5S SE portable, but it's like right in between 6S Plus and SE, meaning that handling for most people generally should be no issue whatsoever. So definitely a win here in terms of its portable nature. Alright, alright, let's talk about the price of the iPhone iPhone 6S. So if you buy it at Apple.com, you're still spending $549 up to $649. But if you look for it refurbished or on the used market, you can find it for under $400. And this is what makes this a big value here in the year of 2017. I think the 6S offers quite a bit of bang for under $400. It's as fast as most Android phones that are, you know, top of the line right now and faster actually in real world use than most top of the line Android phones right now. Performance each and every day will not disappoint at all. It does have stellar build and design quality. And that camera is something that I think most people are going to enjoy here on the 6S, regardless of the fact that it has a camera hump. And it is not the iPhone 7 camera. It's about the same resolution and about the same overall quality. So that pretty much wraps it up here for me of should you buy an iPhone 6S in 2017? And my answer after being a 6S user is I'm sure you guessed a definite win here. Click the like button for me if you guys enjoyed this video. Post your comments down below. Let's talk about this one. Catch you all in the next one. And...